Welcome to Creature Features. Today I'm exploring Middle Bass Island. While this location is famous for its unique population of Lake Erie water snakes, today I'm actually searching for another one of its slithering serpents, the fox snake. It's early morning and the sun's just beginning to peek through the trees, which means that these snakes are gonna come out to start basking and then hunting for the day. So I have a good feeling that with just a little bit of searching, there's a good chance we're gonna find one. So if you guys are ready, let's see if we can track down a fox snake. One of the best places to search for fox snakes is actually the base of trees. And the reason for that is these predators are opportunistic. And this time of year, a lot of baby birds are learning to fly. Those that can't quite get up into the air end up on the ground, which presents the perfect opportunity for a snake to get a simple meal. By searching the base of the trees, I'm hoping to come across one of these snakes that's waiting in ambush. All right, let's check a few more trees. I think we're getting close. Okay guys, we have got a fox snake moving right here from the shadows and into the light, just as I predicted. Ha, this is perfect, check this out. This is one of my favorite snake species in the world, totally safe to interact with. All I need to do is gently pick it up like that. And there you have it. That is our Middle Bass Island Fox Snake. Morning buddy, how are you? That is one good looking fox snake. And it may be the largest fox snake I have ever caught here on the Erie Islands. This guy's close to three and a half, maybe even four feet in length. All right, so if you guys are ready, here we go. The five things that you probably didn't know about the fox snake. Number one, the fox snake is a classic case of vilification based on misidentification. What that means is this species is often confused for venomous pit vipers, like the copperhead or the timber rattlesnake. Now the truth is, this is a completely non-venomous constrictor species in the colubrid family. Now they're very closely related to rat snakes in the genus Pantherophis. Number two, as constrictors, these snakes will wait in ambush for their prey to get close. They primarily feast on small mammals, birds, and amphibians. When they strike out, they grapple on with a mouthful of teeth and anchor onto their prey. Once they have that prey in place, they quickly wrap their coils around and begin to constrict. Once that prey item dies, they're capable of swallowing it down whole. Number three, the fox snake gets its namesake from Reverend Charles Fox. This is the guy that discovered and collected the original holotype of the species. The name also comes from the fact that when they're threatened by predators, they will release a really pungent musk that supposedly smells like a fox, hence the name fox snake. Number four, if the smell of a fox doesn't drive off an attacker, this is one of many non-venomous snake species that is capable of striking out repeatedly and also rattling its tail against leaf litter to mimic a rattlesnake. That combined with the banded and checkered patterning, plus a striped tail, you can see why this species is often confused for a venomous rattler. Number five, Fox snakes are completely harmless to humans and are actually doing us quite a bit of good by helping to balance out the vermin population. Yet these snakes are on the decline and throughout many parts of the range are considered threatened. That's due to habitat loss from human encroachment and also eradication based on an unnecessary fear of this species. So there you have it, five things that you probably didn't know about the fantastic fox snake. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, Stay wild. We'll see you on the next Creature Feature.